Hello, welcome back to The Interface. My name's Alex, and today we're gonna to take a quick look at a level one EV charger for an electric car. Now this one has been sent over to me by the good folks at EV Dance, and they make quite a good range of EV chargers. None of them are sort of DC fast chargers, they're all AC chargers and that sort of stuff. They make um, uh, type two charging cables of all various different lengths and charging speeds. And this one is quite good because I'm traveling at the moment and this one is coming really handy. Um, so this one is a, a three pin socket charger. So it's just a, a, a mode two portable charger, sort of level one sort of stuff. So you've got a three pin UK socket on one end, you've got the charger itself, and then the other end, we have got the, the type two socket for charging your EV. Now this one is quite good because it has got adaptable amp settings on it basically. So there's a little screen, tells you how fast your car is charging in kilowatts, which is really useful, how much energy you've used in that particular session, but also the amps as well. And there's a little button you can use to change the amp settings. You might find in some different places you get electricity from, like different Airbnbs and houses and things, that the amps that are set on this is drawing a bit too much for whatever circuit you've got at the house. So the ability to change the settings on the charger is a really useful thing. And there's also quite a few different safety features on this charger. So this one has got a uh, sort of leak detection, overcurrent, overheating detection as well. Because um, it isn't recommended to charge an EV on a sort of a mode one, mode two charger with a three pin socket all the time. Um, so the fact that this has got a lot of safety stuff built in is really, really good too. So now you can see that the car has been plugged in. You can see the kilowatts being used. This, this instance, 2.77 kilowatts, uh, 12 amps as well, the voltage, and then the time charge currently and then the kilowatt hours total. Uh, that'll obviously go up uh, as you use it. This will basically display what you've used in a particular session, so long as the charger is powered. So if you turn it off, you'll lose any information that you've gained, basically. There's no app or anything to go along with this. With the end on the car, it's pretty standard sort of stuff. Quite well made handle. The cable's really, really flexible as well. And there is this nice little dust cover as well, which is pretty typical nowadays as well. Uh, and it's just a standard type two socket that goes into the car and it works pretty well. Charging the GWM Aura 03, uh, it's at 95%. You can see over there, seven amps being used, one hour and 21 minutes left to charge the car. So that's been a look at the EV Dance portable EV charger. Now, what do I think about this device? Well, this one is actually really good. Now, it's not that expensive either. It's about 191 pounds in the UK. As of recording in early January, it's about 150 pounds. Uh, there's a link in the description if you want to check that out. Uh, it's actually quite a good deal. Now, the reason you'd need this is, at the moment, I'm staying in Airbnb. They haven't got any EV chargers here, which is a little bit unfortunate, but they have got some three-pin sockets, which they let me kindly use. So I can charge the EV I've got, the Aura 03, in about 15 hours if it's, um, well, about 20 hours if it's about 10% charged, 12 hours easily if it's 50%, which the amount of stuff you do on holiday varies a little bit. For day-to-day -day commuting use, most EVs would just be charged top to back up in about 12 hours, which if you think you'll get home at, I don't know, 6 p.m., you won't leave until 8, 8 a.m., depending on the stuff you're doing. So you've got more than enough time to charge your EV on a three-pin socket if you rent or you haven't got the facilities to have a proper seven kilowatt charger. So I do think that's quite a good option, really. Now, the addition of the quite a good length cable about six, seven meters at the moment on this particular one. You can, get, you can get versions with longer cables. And the little screen to tell you how much, how many kilowatt hours that the charger has put into your car is a really, really good addition. So I do think that EV Dance have done quite a good job with this one. And I wanna thank them again for sending this charger out to me to have a look at and have a test. Uh, it's been really good to test out. So if you wanna pick up one for yourself, there's a link in the description down below. My name is Alex. Please consider subscribing to Interface Cars for many more car content and car reviews coming soon. And I'll see you again next time.